over time, almost all honey will crystallize, which is the normal process as the fructose and the glucose of the honey combine to make crystals. You can create a warming box to melt the honey back into liquid honey. Basically, you would build a wooden box and you would use a light. Very often, a light bulb, like a Christmas tree light bulb, will produce sufficient heat within your warming box. Many people will use old refrigerators, old uh, freezers that don't work, and they will put their honey jars in that or their honey pails in that and then use this light bulb to generate a low heat, low and slow. You don't want a very powerful heat because you don't want to, well, I did this, I had a wooden box, I put styrofoam in to insulate it, and I used a trouble light, and I nearly set my house on fire because it, the trouble light melted. It got so hot in the box that the trouble light melted the styrofoam that I had put in there. So you probably won't even need styrofoam. So the wattage of light that I was using for the trouble light was too high. So if you go down to one of those little night light type bulbs or a Christmas tree light bulb, that's what you want. I have even put a trouble light in my oven, but I put the honey on the top rack higher up and then the trouble light on the bottom. And then of course the oven door was cracked for the cord of the light. And uh, I've done that too decrystallize and reliquify some honey that it crystallized. So keep an eye on it. You don't want to burn anything down. You want to keep an eye on your temperatures. Some people will put a fan inside the refrigerator or the box that they're using. So that might be an option for you as well. Drill a hole to run an electrical cord in for a fan. But the main thing to always remember is you want to go low and slow. So don't use too much heat.